Good morning and welcome to this lesson video for lesson two of our grade seven uh, illustrative math curriculum. Uh, this lesson, of course, is about scale copies and recognizing scale copies and features of scale copies. So we're going to go forth with the uh, examples in this lesson and kind of talk about different uh, aspects of scale copies. So uh, let's start off first with uh, this problem here, which is in the first uh, original problem uh, of, the, of the lesson, which is here we have an F, and this is the original F. And our job is to figure out, out of the Fs that we see here, which ones constitute scale copies of this. So the first thing we can kind of look at is, what are the ones that look like this? And then we'll try to get into some more details about, about uh, which ones are indeed the scale copies and which ones are not. So if I look at this F, and I look at other Fs, which ones don't quite look the same? Because at this point, we all we understand that um, scale copies they look like the same. They look like the original uh, figure, except that they're smaller or bigger. So when we look at things like drawing four, which has this this uh, slanted uh, stem here on the, of this F. Obviously, this clearly is not a scale copy because scale copies would look the same. Um, so we can eliminate that one. Um, other ones that we can eliminate. If you'll notice that this F, the top of this F sticks out. Uh, about this one here. So we look at drawing six, and drawing six clearly is not a scale copy for that reason because this F sticks out the same on here. Uh, and if I look at this one, this one looks like it's too distorted. It looks like it's kind of squished together, and also it looks like these parts are longer. So we can eliminate drawing three as well. So out of this, just based on appearance, we can clearly uh, uh, cancel out those three drawings. And now we can look at uh, a little bit more fine detail to see which ones we can kind of figure out our scale copies. So one of the things we know is that scale copies are a certain amount of times bigger versus another one. So if I look at this F right here, I can say, well, this segment right here is four units long. Let me just do a thinner. Uh, this one here is four units long. And this here is two units long. And this part here is one unit long, right? So we have four, two, and one. So any scale copies would be increased by the same amount uh, by multiplication. So if I look at drawing two, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is eight times larger, or eight times this, eight, eight units long. This is two units long, and this is four units long. So from here to here, right? So if I were to identify the multiplication number I could, I could use to get from two to four, four to eight, and one to two, in this case it's two, I have correctly identified a scale copy. So drawing two is a scale copy. And furthermore, drawing two is twice the size of the original drawing. Okay? So one of the features of scale copies is that the corresponding sides have a common ratio, uh, which we call a scale factor. So from four to eight, we multiply by two. From two to what? To get four, we multiply by two. From one to two, to multiply by two. So the scale factor in this case is two. Now let's look at another uh, candidate, drawing one. Okay, drawing one um, is possibly, let's take a look and see if we can get this uh, size here. So we got six here, we've got three here, and this is, okay, see how we got here? That's one and a half, so 1.5. So you might say to yourself, well, 1.5, that doesn't make too much sense of our having uh, this here, but this kind of does look like the original. Well, it turns out there is a number that I could multiply four by to get six, and that's one and a half. 2 by to get 3, also 1 and a half. 1 by to get 1 and a half. You guessed it, 1 and a half. So drawing 1 is actually a scale copy. The scale factor here is 1 and a half because that's what I would multiply each of the corresponding sides by to get the new uh, copy here. So now, based on that logic, if I look down to drawing 5, it looks like drawing 5 is possibly a scale copy, but let's take a look at all of the lengths, right? See the top here, we've got this is 3, right? This part here we've got is 6, but this part is 2, which means if I go 4 times 1.5 to get 6, that's fine. 2 times 1.5 to get 3, that's fine. But 1 times 2 is 2. So you see how this corresponding part, these two don't line up with the same scale factor as the other two sides. So guess what? Drawing number 5 is not a scale copy. All right, and the last candidate here is drawing seven. So let's do this. Well, this part here is three units long, right? So that means that one times three is three. So if, if this is a scale copy, this side here should be how big? Two times three is six. So is it two, four, six? Yes, it is. So that's six. 
This side here should be three times the size. That's 12. Let's count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This is 12 units long. So drawing 7 is indeed a scale copy. So two, three, sorry, 1, 2, and 7 are the scale copies of the original here. Drawing number 7, of course, being three times the size, uh, this being two times the size, and this being one and a half times the size. So features of scale copies are that they kind of look the same, but the corresponding parts have the, a common factor that go between the original and the drawing. OK, let's take a look at this um, say, uh, next kind of example here. If I look at um, the, this is sort of a, you know, uh, a sample here. If I look at the original and I look at the scale copy, they're both scale copies because, again, they look like this. They're just a different size. But if I look down here, here's two examples where they're not scale copies. Here's the W. This is the original W here. This is too, vertic uh, too vertically squished, and this is too horizontally squished. They do not look the same as the original. OK, now here's a little bit harder problem. Same kind of deal here. We have seven triangles, or sorry, eight triangles. We have A through H. Uh, and some of them are scale copies of this original triangle, which is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. It's a right triangle because there's a right angle. Uh, and this is a, a, a common Pythagorean triple, but that's for a future lesson. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at all these triangles. And let's kind of use the same system that we used in the original. Uh, let's take a look at the first of triangles that don't quite look the same as this. right? So any uh, scale copies of O would also be right triangles. So if we see any non-right triangles, we can immediately cross those out. So we look at triangle A. Triangle A is definitely not a right triangle. Uh, and neither is triangle F. So we can eliminate those triangles right away. A and F, we don't even have to worry about them. What about B? Well, if I go item by item here, is B a scale copy of O? The answer is yes. Even though it happens to be exactly the same, it is a copy. And the scale factor, how, what would I do? Mult four times what to get four? It would be one. So B is indeed a scale copy. So that's OK. Um, what about the uh, triangle C? Well, is triangle C a scale copy? Well, if it is, then there would be a common factor between all of these sides. So 3 down to 2. Well, this is 2 thirds of this. But notice that 4 to 5, that's an increase. So this side got shorter. This side got longer. Therefore, this is not a scale copy. They would all either go up or all go down. So we can eliminate that right off the bat. Uh, let's look at triangle uh, E. Triangle E is a little, uh, little easier. We'll come back to D in just a second. But look, take a look at E, right? It's 6, 8, and 10. It's a right triangle, so it fits the bill if it looks like it. 3 times what is 6, 4 times what is 8, 5 times what is 10. The answer to all three of those is 2. Because I use the same number to increase the size of these sides by multiplying by 2, E is a scale copy. How about G? Well, G might, you might look at G and be like, well, maybe. You know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But let's take a look at um, what what we would uh, what we would have to work with here. If I go from three to two, again, what's the scale factor between these? So what do I do? Multiply three by to get two. Well, the answer is two thirds actually. So because if I kind of look at this like this, right, three times two thirds, right, it would be three times two, which is six, divided by three, which is two. Okay, so two thirds of three is two. Okay. So with that in mind, let's look at the other side the same way. If I have 4 and I multiply that by 2 thirds, so we just change this to 4, right? That would be 4 times 2, which is 8, divided by 3. Well, I can't do 8 divided by 3, so I can leave that as an improper fraction, 8 thirds. So if I do 4 times 2 thirds, I get 8 thirds, OK? What about 5? If I make that 5, what would that be? Well, 5 times 2 is what? It's 10. Can I do 10 divided by 3 evenly? No, I cannot. So I leave it as an improper fraction. So look, triangle G actually is a scale copy because by multiplying each of these three sides by the factor 2 thirds, I end up with a scale down or a, a reduction of, of that. So it is a scale copy. OK, so how about for triangle D? Let's come back to that now. If I have. Let's do 4 and 2, right, because those are whole numbers. What would I multiply 4 by to get 2? And the answer there is actually to, to multiply by 1 half. So half of 4 is 2. What's half of 5? It's 5 halves, or 2.5, right? 2 and 5 over 2, right? So that works there. And about half of 3? That's 3 over 2. So look, 
triangle D is a scale copy. The scale factor is 1 half. And lastly, triangle H. Well, now that I look at triangle H, I can see, well, look, 4 times what gives me 2. Well, that's, again, 1 half. But look at here, 3 times what gives me 2. So look, I have two sides that are exactly the same here. In this original triangle, these two sides were not the same. So any scale copy would not have these sides be the same as well. So we can cross that off as a potential scale copy. Okay? So see what we're doing here is if, if we have two uh, shapes that are scale copies, uh, possible scale copies of each other, the side lengths would be proportional by the same scale factor, but further, all of the angles between them would all be the same as well. So if I look at any of these four scale copies, this angle and this angle here would correspond here and here, and those would all be the same. Um, you know, this would be the same as this, and this would be the same as this whereas this angle here would be the same as this angle. They may not be equal to each other. They're not, but, um, but they are corresponding parts. These two angles would be equal because they correspond. Anyway, that's sort of in the summary page here, and you can see the summary right here on the bottom. This is on the bottom of the lesson. This is your lesson summary. Uh, all of the corresponding side lengths would be varied by the same scale factor, but all of the angles between the corresponding parts would be the same between two scale copies. So these two weird polygons, they are scale copies of each other. This polygon here is twice the size of this, so all of the side lengths are twice as big that correspond between the two polygons, but the key here is that all the angles are the same. So if you're determining whether two figures are scale copies of each other, there's sort of two steps to take. Number one, are all the angles the same? And number two, are all the sides corresponding sides? And I should say the corresponding angles as well. Are all the corresponding angles the same? And are all the corresponding sides proportional by the same scale factor? And those are your, those are your, uh, your uh, steps that you would take to determine two scale co if you have scale copies. Okay, so hopefully this lesson helped you uh, understand a little bit more about scale copies. In our next lesson, we're going to be making some scale copies, and I look forward to bringing that to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.